violent encounters can happen in an instant. And when that happens, you need the ability to switch into action. You have to go from zero to 100 straight away. Being fearless under pressure is a state of mind and you can switch into that state of mind. Becoming fearless in the moment, how do you achieve that? Because for some people, it doesn't come naturally. So what I'm going to do is discuss how you can improve your aggressive intensity and how you can develop a switch of going from zero to 100 in an instant. This is how to be fearless under pressure. So keep watching. Fear is natural and normal at any violent confrontation. Aggression is a great tool to overcome fear. By creating a psychological mechanism called a switch, this enables you to deal with fear instantly. Regardless of the skill that you have, if you lack the aggressive intensity behind your actions, you're likely to fail. So how do you develop the mindset to go into action instantly? Drills where you're covering up and you're just being hit is not ideal. What it effectively is doing is condition you to take a punch. It doesn't prepare you for instant aggression. It doesn't give you the level of intensity in your actions that's required in self-defense. Basically, to defend yourself, you have to have a number of things. Skills are an obvious, but then you have to have intention behind those skills. And aggressive intention actually allows those skills to come into effect. The hardest extreme would be milling. Milling is an example where essentially you go toe to toe with someone, punching, 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 but you can't block punches, you can't evade punches, but you have to hit with some intention. It's the most effective way to develop controlled aggression and intention behind your actions. Now this is another level of milling training, and you could say it's far more beneficial for developing the right mindset for combat. So what we're going to do yeah, is you're both going to start with your eyes closed. Closing your eyes is effective as it reduces a flinch response. Okay, we're going to mill for 10 seconds. So eyes closed, hands down. It allows you to dehumanise the person that you're hitting. As soon as um, you hear the, the whistle, you're going to start, okay? Um, the objective is to try and knock each other out. Switch off and feel the emotions of what you're doing and go into strike mode. Okay, and as soon as you hear stop, you need to stop. Right. Stop. Stop. Most people will naturally turn away when they're being hit, especially if you're not used to being hit. But closing your eyes is a brilliant strategy for newbies because what it does is it allows you to focus with maximum aggressive intent on hitting someone that's hitting you. What we're going to do is for five seconds, we're going to try and knock each other out. Short bouts of five to 10 seconds are brilliant. In fact, they're ideal. It reduces the risk of injury. Don't worry, we're not, we're not, going, we're not going full, full on. Play steps now. <laughs> but most importantly, it gives you a burst of aggressive energy. And that's what's required when you have to spring into action to defend yourself. On the other hand, you could say that full contact sparring is a better alternative to milling. It gives you the opportunity to hit someone that's hitting you. But there is a variance in the level and intensity of aggression. You can have a sparring session that's not necessarily high in intensity of aggression. And that's a variance that's not consistent in training. Compared to milling, you have short, sharp bursts of intention. Now, milling isn't for everybody. Sparring might not be for everybody. So there are alternatives and a softer approach for overcoming fear. Even working your mental mindset of bravery and courage would actually be a start. Any form of training that doesn't rely on contact is never going to develop your aggressive intention. Hard sparring doesn't necessarily develop aggressive intention. Sure, you get used to being hit, but it doesn't improve your intensity behind your actions. And this is where milling is another level of training above. So learn to switch on. Thanks for watching.